Aloha and good morning. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day. Dr. Robert Kassar, eartheracademy.com. We're going to go ahead and announce today a well thing I wanted to announce for a little while, just getting ready to be able to make it so we could open up our healthy vacation rentals. And you can see behind me, this is the retreat that we used to do many different clinical medically supervised fasts. And now we're going to go ahead and for a little while, we're going to go ahead and do healthy vacation rentals. So for right now, we have the upper unit with the deck up there that can sleep, you know, three, four, or even five people if you'd like. And that's its own separate place that you would go ahead and, of course, that would be your own. And what you do is you, you would come here, right? It's a healthy vacation. So, <laughs> check out your view. You're coming to unplug, unwind, and just get away from all the crazy. Maybe when you come up here, maybe go ahead and do a little fasting. Maybe do a little sightseeing. Maybe go down into the waterfall right over there every day on our private, this is a 30 acre, I call it a food farm. It's got thousands of coconuts, all different types of fruits, avocados, different animals and wow again what a view and we're all private up here so this would be a chance for you to come out do your own personal detoxification use the sauna every day here I'll show you some stuff here use the sauna every day it's a farm for red sauna use the steam room every day <laughs> I have to come from my house up here to use it so use it every day and this is, again, this is one of the best ways for you to be able to re, reprogram yourself away from a lot of weird stuff. Maybe, maybe when you come up here, don't even go ahead and, and watch uh, anything that has to do with uh, you know what. Okay, remember, it's just to unplug. But here's your view. We'll go ahead and give you a quick view here. Got to cut the lawn. We just cut it last week. Look at how beautiful this stuff is. And... This is common area down here. That's my old house over there where we used to live here for about nine years. And this is the gym area, sauna area, steam room. Come out and do some stretching. Come out and use. This is, I mean, a miracle machine here. I just turned it on here a little while ago. But you can see the steam's up. I'm going to use this in a little bit anyway, sir. I'll just leave that open for now. Steam. What does that do? Make your skin super soft. Helps you detox. Farm for red sauna. What does that do? That makes you detox from the inside out, okay, with clean water. Let's go upstairs here now. And... The upstairs has two ways to get in. And this, whoops, there we go. I haven't been in here in a little bit. Everybody, of course, takes their shoes off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and this was uh, used for the retreats that we did. Over at least 300 people we've done. And these are champion crystals in here with beautifully different design furniture beautiful crystals, big, huge crystals. <laughs> Look, more crystals. This is the family room. And you can see the view from here out to the ocean. And this is where you come to a unplug, right? There's a bathroom over there. Here's big walk-in closet here. This is the master suite, which has we put two beds in here, just in case people want to come, they want to use this, a lot of variety. There's an office over there, TV. Of course, everything's hardwired here. We don't use wireless. My little piano. <laughs> and here's the, the bathroom in here. I don't know how to turn the lights on here. <laughs> Anyways, you can see it. Okay, there's the bathroom. But this is just to give you a nice little look and then this room 
has another deck here, but that's locked, but that's another deck that goes out, walks around the house. And this goes right out to this beautiful area. And this is a beautiful area at night for you to have a cup of tea, sit down, have a smoke, whatever you're doing. <laughs> Unplug, get some sun out here, right? See some real clouds. And just look at the picture that's going all day long. All day, this is your view. You don't have too many people that live close to here. Maybe about uh, two people, one over there. I live below here, down at the bottom. And one other person about half a mile away and over there, that's it. Otherwise we're all by ourselves as you can see, cattle. We're solar powered up top as you can see all the panels. And there you go, what a beautiful place to get some sun. And again, <laughs> real clouds. Okay, so let's go back over here. And I'm just giving you a quick view, just so you can see what's going on here. But again, this is a beautiful thing for you to go ahead and spend some time to yourself, right? All high ceilings. And Maybe do some sightseeing, go to the beach, go see the things that are around here. Akaka Falls is a couple miles from here. Go ahead and maybe go upstairs, uh, excuse me, not upstairs, go ahead and walk up and down the hills every day. Get some exercise, just change it up. So here you go, here's the big kitchen here. And we made a lot of stuff in here before. And I got a six stage, just put it on, never even used it yet, six stage RO system here. So everybody's got super, super clean water. All the water here is all from rainwater too. So what a beautiful thing to take, rainwater showers. And almost forgot this bedroom. Here's another bedroom here, big crystals on the other side. And then there's another area for a bed up there if someone wanted to use that. And or this is also a uh, bed and well we've even had people sleep on the couch before <laughs> but this is also a bed and again the views are just out of this world everywhere you look such beauty so we'll take a walk down to the waterfall and but the idea for you coming up here is for you to be able to maybe bring a small group of people that you want to unplug with okay and, you know, we do have television, got a lot of tapes, whatever you want to go ahead and watch or do. Remember, you may want to fast, you may not want to. You may want to just try eating one meal a day. You may want to just uh, come up and, again, bask in the sun and get away from the world. <laughs> That's all. So we'll go down to the waterfall, but this is something I would do every day, too, when you come up. And like I said, you're not... You know, when you come up for a retreat, you know what happens? <laughs> You're on lockdown. And even if you had to quarantine here, so what? You quarantine here for the five days they want you to, right? Doesn't matter. Why not? You're just going to detox, right? Maybe you want to stay uh, a week, two weeks, or three weeks, like a lot of people do. So this is first come, first serve here. Uh, there is a big discount if you're an Earther Academy member versus uh, just being you know, on, on regular pricing. But what a beautiful place to be able to, again, walk around. We have over a thousand fruit trees here. We don't use pesticides, insecticides, okay, or any of that garbage here. That's a lot of work <laughs> to be able to go ahead and keep everything going. And there's food on the trees. Of course, you can have what you want. Don't rape it, okay? But, um, you know, enjoy your time while you're here. And like I said, what a beautiful view just outside your little place where you're going <laughs> to rehabilitate yourself. Okay, let's go down to the waterfall. Here we go. <laughs> okay, now let's go down to the waterfall. We're about 150 feet from the house right here. And you can see every tree that we have planted here. Okay, and every tree has food coming off it coconuts those are all lychee and they're just flowering right now so we'll have lychee in april or so but let's go down to the waterfall and check this out this was a monumental task to build out 
We had all had to be done by hand picks. Cement, everything brought down here by hand. Everything carved out. What a job. It took us about two years to do this project here. And then just keeping it weeded down because we don't use Roundup here. You don't see any Roundup anywhere. We have to weed eat the ground. And we have to fight the pigs if they ever get in here. I can see there's a couple that have been in here. I can see their footmarks. Again, you can see what the pigs do. But this is where you go down to get to the most beautiful waterfall surrounded. Now we're going in the jungle surrounded by fruit. This is guava tree. Look at all the bananas. This is soursop. Those are cherry trees. And you can see we just cut this down right here and we have to cut that down. It all has to be done by hand every three months or so. But look at these beautiful bananas growing here. And again, look, look at the view. This is where you're going. You're going down to your own personal little jungle. <laughs> you didn't have to go to the Amazon. And you're in Hawaii. There's no snakes, all right? No predators on Hawaii. No snakes, no lions, no crocodiles, okay? <laughs> you can walk through here and not worrying about get eaten by a jaguar or bitten by a poisonous snake because there are no snakes in Hawaii. But you can see, look at these bananas. And we planted all these down here by hand. They took years to grow and all different species of bananas. You can see we didn't pick that one and the, we just fed the birds, that's all. Everybody got a chance to eat bananas. Now we're going down. You can see what we had to carve out. Now we're going down into the sacred area of the waterfall. And that's another pool that's really nice to go ahead and swim in. It's about eight feet deep. And then we put in these little pools here, dammed up the water and made it so the water now is working for us because we made pools instead of just having a small river. But you can see what a beautiful, <laughs> and it's constant maintenance here, as you can see. Manatree broke down, and that just happened over the last couple of days. But we're not going to walk down there, but you go through here and then down there, and there's two more pools down there. And you can see bananas everywhere, and we're going into what I call the sacred pool. And that's the sacred pool right there. Okay, so anyways, this is one of my favorite spots to be able to just come down with Hodo and be able to be cleansed by, this is underground spring water. It does get rain, as you can see, it's crystal clear behind me. Okay, you can see right through it. There's lobster in there, fish in there. When it rains, of course, it turns brown, but that's all underground spring fed water about 500 feet up the creek. That's where it comes out of the ground. So this always runs no matter if it rains or not, which a lot of rivers in places in Hawaii, if it doesn't rain, you don't get water. So this is a very sacred river. It's where a lot of the uh, chiefs from King Kamehameha, they lived in this area because it was the best weather. And of course has the underground springs, which is only about five miles up the coast and five miles down the coast. So this is what you get if you live in this area right here. You get this beautiful flowing water and it's about seven feet in the middle over there and I crawl to the side of the rock and I get the best massage. In fact, I'm going to come down today. It's teasing me. I haven't been here a little while. Look at the big lobster in the, in the water right there, Sam. They're all over here. And you can see what a beautiful energy here. No bugs. You see any? Super high energy. These are all guava trees right here, guava fruit. And you can see how we built this up here to be able to make this, because if not, it just comes out and goes out like a river. But you can see that's a big buildup right there. So anyways, this is one of the sacred spots that you're staying at the sanctuary. And it's not just a sanctuary because it's a cool place inside with the crystals and everything. It's because this place is truly a sanctuary. Um, if you are interested, though, in coming up for the healthy vacation rentals, remember, I mean, I live here and stuff. Just got so many things going, and I wouldn't mind doing maybe uh, 
a <clears throat> little talk, treat and meet or whatever, but just not doing medically supervised retreats right now because they take a lot to put together. And since there's so much insecurity of a lot of different things right now, yeah, it's a big thing to go ahead and plan something and have it canceled or, or changes, whatever. So anyways, the vacation healthy retreat rentals, okay, they're, they're for you. And remember, to unplug, do your own detox. Do whatever you feel that you want to do, whatever you feel that you need to do. So we've done this before, and a lot of people fast for three days, and then they'll do one meal a day just to get you know, to their next level. A lot of people, uh, just like in retreats, once a year, for a month, it's a good idea to stop your smoking, smoke, stop your coffee, stop everything. You fly to another place, to a place that's going to love you. And what you do is you're, you're, you're decompressing yourself. And remember, you're out of your matrix, which is an addictional habit sometimes. You wake up in the morning, you could do your thing, you c cigarettes, smoke, whatever you do. You come here and you change it up. You go to bed early, okay? And you get up with the sun to watch the sun come over the ocean. What a beautiful thing. You get a chance to be able to see the sun supposedly rise over the ocean. What a beautiful thing. So this resets your cir circadian rhythms. Um, again, get some vitamin D3 from the sun. Baptize yourself and feel that you're sort of in an energy here that is gonna help you feel better is because that's what this place does. There's very few places in the world, remember, that don't have predators. There's not a million bugs down here where I'd have to go ahead and just run out of here is because they're gonna eat me to bloody death. Okay, the water's super clean, as you can tell, is because there's fish and lobsters in here. And when you're in there, you'll feel the fish. Sometimes, look at, he's looking at me right there. I can see him in the water. See him right there? That's a, that's a smaller one. There's another one over here, another one over there. Whoop, he just took off, that guy. Anyways, again, it's first come, first serve. Stay as long as you feel that you need to recoup, regenerate yourself. And feel the, the power of the Big Island. It is a healing energy that's here. You can still hear the waterfall. I can hear it when I go to bed at night. You can hear it from that bedroom up there, from these waterfalls. What a beautiful thing to be able to put you to sleep at night by hearing not beep, 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 and all the noises that basically you don't have uh, all those, those things in the, in the <laughs> natural world. In the artificial world, of course, you've got too many people living close to each other. You're surrounded by all the Wi-Fi all the different types of, of things that make us sometimes not sleep well. So try to get yourself, you know, if you can, 10 hours of sleep a night. Or even take a nap during the day, because that's a beautiful thing, right? It's just to take a nap. And maybe you have not done that because maybe you're too busy every day. <clears throat> so, you know, just think of it as sort of like a beginning, you know, even intermediate, just because you're going to do this, uh, you know, self-love care for you. It's like when I do spa day, right? Spa day is, is my Sunday, and that's the day I take care of myself, do the sauna, do a lot of things, just for me, everything's for me. Maybe I'll do my toes, soak my feet with the protocols. I do that once a month just to be able to clean out any fungus or anything that's grown in, in my toenails, whatever it is. It's my day to work on me. Make sure I get the sun. Uh, maybe I'll go to the beach and stretch. It's about 45 minutes. Hapuna Beach, most beautiful beach. One of the best voted beaches in the world <laughs> is right there, 45 minutes. About an hour from here, actually. So, again, look at the beautiful blue sky and the temperature here is perfect all year round temperature is about between 80 and 84 and at night about 60 
six at the lowest to 72. Humidity's perfect, it's about 60%. It's not sweaty at all, it's not clammy, because there's a lot of places in Hawaii, microclimates, I can't live there because I don't like the weather. I don't like it being super sweaty. I don't like to be like in Kona, 100 degrees. It's too hot for me. It's nice to go visit it. <laughs> All right, anyways, we'll see you guys. Go on eartheracademyretreats.com, send us a message if you're interested. We'll send out a newsletter and give you more particulars on <laughs> call it the main event for yourself, right? Instead of going to a place that, you know, this is a healthy vacation rental. Remember, you're going to go to a hotel. Let's say you're going to go to for a vacation. You're getting surrounded by Wi-Fi. You're getting pounded by everybody's phones and all the wireless and just the chemicals that they use in the house just to clean everything. Sit on the toilet, you better wash it first. And anyways, you get what I mean. It's nice to be able to come to a place where it's like yours for the time you're here. Walk around, this is like a mile and a half track that goes all the way around. See the cows back there, see Miss Piggy, and walk around, walk through the orchards, all through the long, long lanes of trees. So, anyways, hope to see you guys. And maybe in the future we'll do some retreats, but for right now, just healthy vacation rentals and it's just the upstairs unit for right now like I said it could sleep four to five people and downstairs will open up uh, in time and may have another couple places on the farm here because we've got lots of places but we'll see how they turn out so it's nice to have the Earth Academy members come up here just because guys <laughs> it just is and you know, when's the last time you really had a healthy vacation is the question for yourself. Because half the time you go on vacation, when you come back, you need another week or two just to go ahead and, and get back on track because it wasn't a vacation, okay? Not for health, that's for sure. So anyways, okay guys, we'll see you guys. Aloha and lots of uh, things to come in 2022. Yep, take care of yourselves, not only Stay strong, but get strong. Exercise, okay? Drink lot, lots of liquids, especially in the winter, because you're dry. And if you're living in a place that's too hot, right? Air conditioning or a place that's too cold and you're inside with the heat, you're being dehydrated. So you need to drink lots of water. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Aloha, and there we go. What a beautiful day. <laughs>